In this presentation, we are going to look at the floor and ceiling function. So the floor function of x, which we will denote with this symbol here, it is a square bracket missing the top component, is the largest integer not greater than x. Okay, so the largest integer not greater than x. Uh, given any real number, the floor function is unique integer, integer n, such that n is less than or equal to x. Okay, we're not really that, that particularly concerned about the rest of that expression. The ceiling component, the ceiling function of x, which we'll denote there, again, this time the in the square brackets the bottom part is missing is the smallest integer not less than x so given any real number x this the ceiling function is a unique integer n such that x is less than or equal to n so n is an integer so uh, floor and ceiling functions the outcomes are integers so the floor function of x is okay sorry this is what I want to look at here this is a number line so I'm just going to draw a straight line here, and that's not a straight line, give me another go there. So there we go. Now I'm going to pick, a, this is going to be the zero point, make this one, two, and I'm going to go minus one and minus two here. So this is the number line, those are all integers. What I'm gonna do is pick out two points. I'm gonna pick, let's say, uh, 1.3. Well, the floor function of 1.3 is uh, one. It's the integer that precedes it on the number line. And the ceiling function of 1.3 is two. It's the integer that comes next in the number line. So, uh, okay. Now, let's go to the other end here. Let's suppose we're dealing with minus 1.5, let's say. Now, this is, uh, be very careful here, uh, and it's, it's actually a good idea to visualize the uh, number line when you're doing these. The integer that precedes it in the number line is minus two, and the integer that comes after it is one, uh, minus one. So that could be a bit very counterintuitive. So let's write that out. My, the floor function of 1.5 is minus 2. The ceiling function of minus 1.5 is minus 1. Likewise, over here, the floor function of 1.3 is simply 1. The ceiling function of 1.3 is 2. It's actually also usually on the negative side of the number line that we run into problems. Okay, now if x is an integer, then the floor function and the ceiling function both take this, the value of x. So if x is an integer, x equals the floor function of x equals the ceiling function of x. Now a useful sort of, uh, another extra sort of component that is uh, brought into consideration when we're doing these type of problems is the fractional part of a number x. It's the difference of the value of x and the floor function. So we write it like this x minus the floor function of x. Okay, let's look at some examples here. So 2.4, floor function of that is 2, the ceiling 3, and the fractional part uh, 2.4 minus 2, that is 0.4. The uh, floor function of minus 5.4, just remember the number line, it's minus 6, in this case, the ceiling is minus 5. Now, let's do the fractional component here again. We're going, you might be surprised by this result. Minus 5.4 minus minus 6. The minuses cancel out, so we're actually what we're left with is uh, plus 6, essentially. Let's just rub that out there. Um, so the uh, it actually becomes plus 6, and the answer is therefore not 0.6. So uh, the fractional parts can be, again, for negative numbers can be uh, tricky. Uh, this x is an integer, so 1, 1, and the fractional part is 0. 0 is an integer, so 0, 0, and the fractional part is 0. Again, minus 4, that's an integer, so minus 4, minus 4, and 0. Pi, 3.1415, let's say. The floor function of that is 3. 
signaling function that is four and the the fractional component is 1.1415 and uh, we're dealing with positive numbers it's, it's essentially whatever comes after the decimal place uh, the minus pi minus 3.1415 uh, again what what integer proceeds out on the number line minus four what integer comes after on the number line minus three and again watch out for that uh, minus uh, the, the double negative problem so this is uh, minus 3.1415 plus 4 minus minus 4 that works out to be 0 0.85 ish and I'm just reading it off a computer so it said uh, I'm not going to round it down 0 0.8584 okay so that's including a uh, rounding error so or not including rounding error so that is the uh answer there and uh, those are the answers there again you could pause it if you want to make a note on them there and that ends our presentation